Recognizing the Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, interesting debate. Uh, it's Read Across America Day I learned this morning, so I want to encourage you to actually read the testimony from the Maryland State Police, because it was suggested on the floor that somehow this small group of people might be inherently more corrupt than anybody else, and that is not what the Maryland State Police testimony says. So I just want to correct the record uh, on that briefly. This is a relatively small group of people we're talking about. These are people, as the vice chair said, we handed a firearm to and sent overseas in many cases to ask to defend this country uh, and our values. Most of them, frankly, will go on to try to pursue citizenship, uh, but there is a small subset that won't, and we want to capture that subset if they're interested in serving in our law enforcement agencies. We have a uh, big vacancy problem in state government, as the speaker has always told us, uh, and that includes our police. The Maryland State Police have a high vacancy rate, and my subcommittee deals with the Department of Natural Resources uh, budget. We can't find enough police officers to count how many fish people are catching and uh, how many people are going into the parks uh, at night. If we can't find uh, police officers for those duties, uh, we really have problems with some of our heavier, uh, heavier lifts that we ask our law enforcement for. So we need more people in law enforcement, not less. This is a group of people interested in serving. We're creating a very narrow uh, subset for them, and I would ask the body to support this uh, well-thought-out, well-crafted, and narrow piece of legislation. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Okay.